Hi guys, we take here August uh, 26th. Pop myself and Angie are on uh, property. We're continuing to work on the rebar. Uh, we thought uh, today would be uh, we'd get it pretty much everything done. That wasn't the case. Uh, a little more work needed. Uh, we did make pretty good progress. We got most of the uh, the one third that wasn't done yesterday. We did about half of that. So anyway, where you see the black tarp, we kind of finished up. Um, I kept going with the channels and the beams, um, and I did the beam on the front of the, par the, the shop as well. Angie and Pop were finishing up tying the, uh, the rebar on the outside, um, so they were doing that. While well, I continued to do the, uh, the main beam, beam setup, tying everything together, and then uh, adding the center ribs. Um, the shop's 45 feet wide, um, the rebar is 20 feet, so I had to chop a few few pieces down etc and then just time all together so it took a little longer uh, we're hoping uh, Pop and I are gonna show up at the property tomorrow and I think we're gonna bang it out uh, so we should be able to finish all the rebar work tying everything etc and uh, we'll be done um, next section in the videos you'll see uh, later on in this video uh, segment um, will be the we'll be doing templates for the bolts that hold uh, the posts up uh, from the plans you basically build a bolt template and then screw that down to the forms uh, obviously in the right place and in the right configuration so the, the post will just be bolted down anyway not too hard just uh, detail work uh, went pretty good last year so this year it should go just as good or better anyway thanks for watching uh, if you enjoy please uh, subscribe and uh, hit the like button or something anyway thanks for watching ciao bye All right, so Pop and I are here. This is the 27th. Uh, Angie didn't show up, so it's just uh, Pop and myself. We didn't uh, video, well, we videotaped everything, but we're I'm not going to show you all the little bits. Uh, putting all the plastic and rebar down in this, the last section of the building, uh, you know, kind of tedious. So anyway, we're showing you the last tie-ups. We're doing uh, a little bit of the uh, the final tying for the uh, all the rebar. Uh, we ran out of rebar to do the driveway, which, which you see on the right. You see the, the rebar sticking out there. I gotta get another probably about ah, 30 pieces so we do a little driveway extension um, we think it's a good idea uh, the last property one we didn't do that and it was kind of the, the, the shop gets very dirty very quick just because you know you drive cars on dirt and stuff like that and it gets in there so I figured if we uh, park on concrete and uh, have a more more solid surface it'd be uh, helpful anyway the next section you'll see uh, a little further in this video you'll see us putting up the end wall uh, form separation the shop is one and a half inches higher than the awning floor and it has a drip edge in it as well. So we're going to assemble that, etc. And we also didn't do the cutout for the roll up doors. Here you see the cutout. The, the, the symmetric is going to roll up, are going to roll into the foundation and dump their load in there. So we had to take that out because they're going to be driving over the rebar. But uh, anyway, uh, the other the other side, we didn't do that, uh, and we're going to take probably the wood out once they start pouring. A couple, two, three hours in, we're going to pull it so they can do the finished work on that part of the concrete. And uh, let's see, what else? Uh, what, I'm, what I'll be doing next couple of days, finishing up the driveway extension, and then showing uh, how we do the forms, the, the templates for the, uh, the, the bolts, rather, for the building. So that's coming up, too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, hit the like button and uh, join the uh, channel. Thank you. Later. Bye. So in this section of the video, you'll see me putting uh, three two by sixes together. We're going to span the uh, the end wall. Um, and then we're going to support it at their proper height with the drip edge um, as well. So what you'll see is uh, we're going to raise or support the this long piece. It's 45 feet wide, obviously. And uh, we're going to do some rebar supports underneath it. And then we're going to add the drip edge to that for support, uh, both for up and down, etc. But uh, we hope the concrete guys, when they actually finish the, uh, the awning to the uh, floor, shop floor is an inch and a half difference. 
we expect to pull these two by sixes probably about two hours into the pour so they can finish the drop down between the shop and the awning uh, area a little bit of a recess for the uh, the concrete to flow nicely into there anyway uh we it was sort of interesting trying to figure out how to do this but i uh, hopefully we'll we'll get it right um anyway we'll see uh see what the concrete guy says say and uh move from there thanks ciao So you here you see us uh, supporting the, the long piece, you know, 2x4, that's a 45 foot long section, so we're putting rebar, and actually I'm using rocks over the rebar to kind of support uh, the height of the uh, that piece, so 2x6, two, two and the 2x4s you see over there, we're going to actually use those to string them so that the drip edge is uh, accurate and tight uh, and, and level. Uh, we've got some minor adjustments to do next day or two, um, and I somehow have to support it so it doesn't flip over left to right or move out of uh, position. So we're probably going to use rebar kind of in a triangular fashion on the left and right side so it stays where it is. Um, and I think with the concrete, since it's not really that much of a load, it's just a one and a half inch difference. Uh, I think when those guys finish it up, um, it probably won't move a whole lot anyway, but obviously we don't want to take that risk. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure how the big guys do this, but this is what we're doing. Uh, hopefully the concrete guys will support us on that and uh, we'll move forward uh, later.